So today I want to talk to you about the concept of HADIOS, which is an acronym for Hypermedia as the Engine of Application State. Now, from a REST and Web Services perspective, it's basically how computers browse the internet. So let me give an example from the Oracle HCM cloud. Let's say I want to invoke a REST service to access details about a specific employee. Well, first, I need a link to that employee. But because of effective dating, et cetera, well, those links, you might say they are transient. So what I do is I start with a finder style request that returns a collection of links. I then iterate over that collection, evaluating the list of links, ultimately invoking the proper one. So the question is, how do I implement that style of HDS service from PeopleSoft? So let me show you. It's actually pretty simple. So here's what I have. I put together a service operation. You can see it has two URI templates here. The first one returns a collection of users, and the second one returns a specific user. And you can see it's document-based. We're passing in a document parameter in the second URI template. Let me show you what those look like if we were to invoke them. I've already got it set up here in SOAP UI. See, I invoke the first collection request. I get back a collection of user IDs. And the second one returns a specific. Now, the goal is to have a link in the collection that then returns a pointer to the specific. So what we need to do then is generate a link by populating this document. By the way, Integration Broker will do that for us. There's a method in Integration Broker that will give us a link to a service operation if we give it a service operation name, the URI template, and any parameters necessary for that URI template, which is why we went with a document-based document message here. So we're gonna need a little bit of people code first off to generate that document. The document tester will do that for us. I've got it all set up here in the document tester. We just want it to generate people code. And let's put in opera ID. How about, let's go with ABC123, an artificial opera ID just for testing purposes. We'll click generate, we get some people code, we'll grab the people code and take that back to application designer where we're going to inject that into our service handler. I've got a helper method here called get all users. It returns an array. And what we're gonna do is inject that link. So it needs to go right about in here. So with the document template, by the way, before we get started on that, let's just, let's just get everything set up. So now we're gonna have a link. So how about local string and link? And then that's going to go right here. So add property link. And then what's it going to be ampersand link. Okay, fantastic. Now the link is going to come from integration broker. So that's going to be right here. It will be equals percent int broker dot get URL. And then the parameters go in here. So we'll fill that out in just a minute. But first, let's complete this piece here that we just copied from the document tester. Now we can see we've got this great code here. It has some rather generic variables that don't really mean much. So I recommend as you're working through the code that you rename those variables to something that's actually meaningful. But we also have to declare them because this is an application package and application packages require that you declare your variables. And besides that, it's a best practice anyway. So local document, that's what we get back. Create document, create, so match that document. The document element property returns something called a compound local compound. And then from the compound, we want to get to what's called a primitive. Now, you might say declare a variable called primitive, you know, local primitive here, but we actually don't even want the primitive. That's not the point here. The point is to populate that document so we can then use the document. We do need a pointer to the document element so we can get to the properties of the primitive. I don't need the primitive itself. Instead, we can just do this dot value. And what is the value? Well, it's not ABC123. It's going to come back from that SQL select, that SQL cursor. We can see it. We're getting back opera ID. That's perfect. So ampersand opera ID. And oh, we need to finish this part up here. So the percent int broker dot get URL requires three parameters. The first one would be the service operation name. Now, service operation name, you know, we can just grab it from over here. So it's going to be operation dot, we'll put in the operation name, then the URI resource index, which happens to be number two. Fantastic. We'll just copy paste as much as possible. And then finally, the document template to populate the URI index. So let's see, we've got, we've got the document. We've got the link. We're generating the link and we're adding to the JSON object. We're adding that link. Hey, let's see if it compiles. 
perfect. It compiles, it must work, right? So let's go back to the, to SOAP UI. Let's re-invoke, we've modified the code. Let's see, we wanna see a link show up in here. We'll press the play button and, oh, that is so amazing. Do you see that link come back? Hey, let's try one of these. I can see there's an Opera ID right there. We'll just move all the way to the end, copy. Oh, we can see the Opera ID put in the end there based off the document object. We didn't have to do any URI concatenation. We didn't have to figure out what's the base URL for the service operation, et cetera. Now, integration broker handled all of that for us. That's fantastic. That's Hadios, hypermedia as the engine of application state. Let's test it out. So this is the scenario. The scenario is we made a request to the collection. The collection returns back a list of links. We iterate over that list of links. We find the one we want and we now invoke and we get back the result. Oh, that is so awesome. So hey, at JSM Pros, we teach integration tips like this every week. Be sure to check out our website to see what we're offering next. Or here's an idea. Do you have a group you would like to train on integration concepts such as these? Give us a call and let's get something on the schedule. Now, before we go, I have a question for you. Do you have an idea you would like us to discuss in a future soundbite? If so, share it with us at soundbites.jsmpros.com. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.